say something, really, and again, always I tried so much to to crystallize things in some kind of nutshell because I don't think that um, I don't think that teaching really works actually so much. I think that the teachings and learning and studying and all of this thing they have their place. They are part of consciousness's uh, expression. But on the whole, it doesn't work. I found it like this, because uh, the learner is usually the mind, and it just perpetuates that there is somebody who is learning something to get somewhere, which has its validity also because it's inside the it's inside the great play of consciousness. <clears throat> so, you know, don't any of you go out and dismiss any path. Because I don't dismiss them. I only say that still it is inside the great. They are all. They are phenomenal. That's all I say. I don't have a trouble with phenomenality because without phenomenality, the sense of you and me being here would not be existing, and I don't regret that. You see, I don't have a problem with duality because duality is necessarily um, here for experiencing to occur. The whole idea of awakening has to happen through duality. Of seeking and finding of individuality is all a play of duality. So I do not dismiss duality. I've only transcended it also. But I'm also in it, playing in it as well too. And not ashamed of that, not afraid of that, enjoying that. Because this is also God's breath and God's play. And all of it is good. All of it I love. Even the parts I hate I love. Because it comes from Him. It's only. So this is a one thing, but if I had to boil down something, for those of you, I don't know how many, who really are really pushing into uh, inside for the final truth, not because it's a competition, not because it's the greatest thing to do, but because there's an urge already alive in you that is that is listening uh, to what has been shown, what I've been shown myself, and using it actually to go beyond all trouble, and then it will come down to simply this. Don't believe finally in any concept. Go beyond uh, the field of concept. Because in the realm of concepts, therein lies your own identity and the perpetuating of trouble. Everything is in the identity. It's not duality that's the problem. It's identity. It's not duality that is any trouble. It's personal identity that is causing it. That is the germ. That is the, the germ, and it's a germ warfare based upon the idea that you are merely your body and conditioning. And the beings they must fight to go beyond this, this limitation. Because it has poisoned the whole world. It has been poisoned by it. I hope that somewhere amongst us here, even if one or two alone sprout, but it's not my wish. My wish is that everyone would sprout in it. Everyone sprouting it just means that somehow there's a, a, a real finality of seeing in the heart, not in the head, because many people speak these things that I'm telling you now, but I don't buy it from them, because they still carry the smell of this person. They're still invested in the person. You know? I don't dismiss them. I only tell them, you have to go for more than this. You have to let go of all your concepts, because concepts by themselves won't do. They fall short of the goal, and the goal is no place other than your own self. And these are paradoxes that have troubled the world for a long time, because we can't get over ourselves. We are always including ourselves personally in everything. Finally, that personal seed has to be seen as being phenomenal. When you see that from your heart, then all this, not the dream is over. The dream is not bad. The dream is fine. But the nightmare, the delusion, the hypnosis, that will be over. You see? And then you can walk on this planet, on this earth, as a, an embodiment of that understanding. You see? It's not a mental understanding. Because when you understand this, your whole being is transformed into the light of God. I don't see any higher purpose than this, because everything else will be swallowed by time. Everything else will become past, but this world shall never pass. This will never pass. 
It will never pass. If you find that and be one with that, everything will be okay with you. And so this is my final thing I say just today, like that. Yeah. See, whatever you perceive, including yourself, they are phenomenal. Leave them alone. I gotta go. Sri Mujiki Bara vara här 